Oh, I'm Janelle, and welcome to the Amuna Project. Uh, today in the Amuna Project, we're going to continue in our series of videos uh, to inspire you and to encourage you and to uh, give you some uh, uh, some strength and uh, inspiration. And we're going to be uh, talking about uh, Chuva, uh, poorly translated as repentance, but I think that's probably the closest we can do in English. And I want to specifically talk about um, some imagery that was uh, that I was reminded of by my friend uh, Yochanan. He does the Spanish language uh, videos on Ramunda.com and he gave me the, uh, the imagery of someone going to a mikvah, a ritual bath, but holding on to a dead lizard. Uh, one of the things in, uh, in the Torah that makes you um, uh, who makes that makes you impure, ritually impure, uh, are you know certain animals, dead animals, and lizard. And the imagery is someone who's going to a mikvah in order to make himself ritually pure, but at the same time he's still holding on to a dead lizard. In other words, it ain't gonna happen. So. Um, the image, uh, this imagery comes actually from uh, um, the Rambam, uh, Rabbi Moses ben Maimon, Maimonides, in his uh, book, uh, Hilchus Tshuva, The Laws of Tshuva, The Laws of Repentance. And uh, it says in chapter 2, in uh, section 3, anyone who verbalizes his confession without resolving in his heart to abandon sin or sinful behavior can be compared to a person who immerses himself in a mikvah while holding a dead lizard in his hand. His immersion will not, will be, will not be of avail until he casts away the lizard. The, uh, the point the Rambam is making is that part of the tshuva process is not just confessing your sin to God, not just admitting that you've done sinful behavior. I steal, I lie. I, uh, I'm having a, an affair. I'm, I'm, I'm engaged in some sort of uh, improper behavior. You confess the sin uh, to Hashem, to the Creator, but you still do it. That is the person in the mikvah still holding on to, uh, to the dead lizard. Uh, so um, when we review in previous videos, when we reviewed the steps in the Chuva process, um, the one of the things is confessing and resolving never to do it again. You need both. Um, there is a proverb, um, Proverb 28, 13. Um, he who confesses and forsakes his sin, he will be treated with mercy. Not just the person who confesses, not just the person who... who who stops doing things, you need both. The person who confesses and forsakes his sinful behavior, that person will receive, uh, will receive mercy. Proverbs uh, um, 28, 13. Um, when you confess your sin, uh, when you admit to God what you've been doing, you require a certain degree of specificity. You, you got to be exact. You got to confess is, is literally that. Say what it is you've been doing. And not just, well, you know, I've been really behaving uh, improperly and I'm not going to do it again. Fess up. Admit what it is you are confessing and, you know, be frank. The... Um, Who do we look to as an example? Moshe Rabbeinu. Moses, uh, in Exodus uh, 23, verse 31, uh, he's talking to Hashem, he's talking to the Creator, and he says, I appeal to you, the people have committed a terrible sin by making an idol. Now, God knows that they were involved in idolatry, God's the one who told Moses, you better get down there, you know, there's some serious monkey business going around and, you know, you people have reverted to idolatry. And so he's not telling the creator anything new. 
But as part of the confession process, as, as part of uh, Moses uh, appealing to uh, the Creator on behalf of the Jewish people, he says they've committed a terrible sin by making a golden idol. He spelled it out, even though God knew. God always knows, frankly. Come on, you're not going to surprise him by saying, oh, I did something and God's going to be shocked. But it's part of the process. You have to be specific. You have to confess and you have to renounce that and strive hard. Resolve never to do it again. We're going to be doing more videos on the subject. Uh, until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you so much.